we've just arrived at the site we're going to build this new truck and this is the the welcome message on the fence I need to try and get Matilda in now a bit tight down here Hi Elliot, how are you doing? Good, thank you. Day one of the little truck project. This is the VW Man camper. Now, Matilda and I and Savinch parked on this lovely bit of land, surrounded by trees, very much like a park. I'm not going to do much work today, but I am going to go and have a sort out of the workshop. Start thinking about the materials I need and get some materials in order. This is the this is my daily walk to work. It's a long, long commute from Matilda to the workshop, which is here. So I've been so busy recently, I'm struggling to get the videos up weekly. Uh, I've got many videos currently in production on the laptop, um, but to try and be more consistent, I'm going to start making a very simple video every Thursday about what I'm doing, where I am, what I'm up to. And for now, it's probably going to quite often feature the mini man I'm working on. Uh, right now, I'm in the workshop where I'll be based for the next few months building the mini man. So I'm just going to uh, post a video, what I'm doing, where I am, probably talk about what I'm building, why I'm doing it like this, um, just to kind of keep regular updates going. And at the same time, I'm going to keep making the other videos. I've got Turkey coming out soon. Various other travel, overland videos, how-tos, especially on the DAF T244, where to connect your hot water connection on the engine, etc. So there's lots coming. Just struggling to find time to do it. So the air intake on the man interferes with the tunnel we're going to put through from the habitation area to the cab. So we've taken this off, we're going to relocate it. But while we're doing that, um, it makes sense to raise it up a little bit higher so it effectively becomes a snorkel. So I've just taken some measurements of the original pipe. I'm going to buy some more pipe and roll up uh, a snorkel. Um, so we're going to put that to one side wait for that to come and um, get on with some woodwork. So I've just come to Surrey Timber where I'm going to find, hopefully find, the ideal piece of wood to go in the new truck I'm building. Look at this lovely bit of oak, this big slab. That's going to make a beautiful table, but not for this truck, too big. Um, we need something for the worktop, about 650 wide, three meters long, and then something for the table. All matching. I've got some, I've got some nice oak here. Slice, full slice of a tree. Uh, we've got four pieces like this, and a little half piece. And this is going to be the worktop and table. So right now, I'm working out which, which is the best piece to use for the worktop. Um, we're going to put resin river down the middle here. So I'm just trying to select the right piece to do the job. Which piece is going to work best for the other? Um, so I think I'm going to offset them. So that they kind of weave in between each other. Um, quite a bit of work to do before we pull the resin, but we'll pull the resin and we'll have this lovely river effect. It's going to make a lovely, lovely worktop, add a bit of colour, and I do love a bit of natural wood. And this oak is particularly beautiful. So a bit of work to do here. Um, loads of materials on order, waiting for them to arrive, and then we'll um, start in the kitchen hopefully soon and get this worktop on.
I've just made up a sample um, to colour the resin. Let's get what we need. I'm quite pleased with the way it looks. Let's let that go hard now and see how it how it's later. Um, I think I want it a bit more, bit more opaque though because I put some LED lights underneath and I want them to shine through. So I think a little change of quantities just a little bit and that should be beautiful. Some new tools arrived. I've got an extractor, so when I'm sawing, routering, or whatever, I'm not breathing in the dust in here, and a table saw just to make life a little bit easier. Some of these jobs, so good to get them here. Lots more tools to come. Um, I like tools, tools make jobs easy. One regret I have of not buying some of the tools I've got now when I built my truck is the amount of time the right tool can save you. Last week I've spent ordering materials and planning, doing designs for the little man truck and building. So I've not really got much work done. I've escaped from a bit of a wall, stretch my legs. Hopefully next week we'll have enough materials to start. Really building. So um, while I'm waiting for parts to come for the little man project, I'm um, getting on a few other jobs around the grounds I'm currently living in. Here's Matilda down there, and I am up a tree. Um, I don't like to cut trees down, but the only wants them down. If I don't do it, it's going to pay someone else to do it. Um, they are at risk of falling down onto his garage. That's what he's worried about. And they are going to allow a lot more light in and other plants to grow. So, I don't like cutting trees down, but there is this whole idea about um, coppicing you trees down a lot more allow other plants to grow um, maybe some of this wood can be used put to good use so that's what I'm doing cutting some trees down um, I've actually come down I was up the top um, but I ran out of things to hold on to so I've come down um, I'm still reasonably high I'm going to cut this big branch down in a moment and I've still got this side to cut down or to trim and I don't want to fell the whole thing in one because there's greenhouses and other trees and things I don't want to damage so that's what I'm doing today um, I'm going to get on with it so to follow the little mini man build um, subscribe and like this video I'm going to be going through the entire build um, it has got, already got a box on it uh, built by Motorcraft I'm just going to do that internal fit out, electrics, plumbing. Um, it is a small truck, so it's going to be quite it's quite simple, but it's got everything in it you're going to need. Um, because it's small, it doesn't necessarily make it easier. It can obviously often make it harder, because you've got to get so much in a small space. You've got to be quite smart about how you do it. 